wish this was like older game or newer games where I could just mark something on the map and have a thing pointing me. But alas. That would ruin most of the uh, the effect of the fog and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, I know, I know. I had seen footage of uh, they redid Silent Hill two and three, or they made them HD um, for the PlayStation. Or, I'm sorry, PS three and um, the three sixty, and I think the computer too. But uh, in doing it, they took away a lot of the effect. Yeah. So nearly all the fog is gone from those games. Yeah. I which heard. makes it far less scary. Yeah, that's uh I heard that in some other video I was watching. About this that um they put the fog in mainly to preserve the frame rate cuz you are in a pretty big area for a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah. Um but it also simultaneously added to the um tension and yeah. whatnot. So it was yeah, worked very frame. well. Yeah. And like 2 it's used <clears> perfectly. <throat> 3 not so much, but but I'll Three. give them kudos for being able to conceal one of the downsides to the technology with a mechanic that added to the gameplay value. Yeah. It gave it a new atmosphere. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it fall off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I guess I'll go join one of those knights and uh, life goes on. Yeah. Okay, so Doghouse Levin Street. I gotta remember where I am. Is it down or up? Let's check over here first. Doggy! God damn. Okay, so unlike the flying thing, it's only like two or three hits for these things. Thank you! <laughs> Die. Oh. Uh, crap, it was up. Alright. Super dog. Fuck you, super dog. <laughs> God damn it. I've said some pretty horrible things thus far <laughs> in this commentary, but I think kicking dogs is probably one of the worst things I've seen. <laughs> oh god. Die, dog. Yes. Thank you. I'm sure they didn't, uh, maybe they pissed off a few crazed out leftists. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> well. Oh, you're kicking animals. They aren't living. <laughs> they're undead and they're trying to kill me. Yeah. I can't ever. No, I can't see that. Alright, so save point. There's. If we were playing Resident and... Evil Revelations, Jill would have said, it's a wall. Fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah, we'll get back to that at some point, but for right now I don't give a fuck. This bureau is made of wood. That pot is metal. <laughs> the stove love... isn't on. I do love her. <laughs> the refrigerator is God empty. God damn it. <laughs> Although Very... that's kind of useful because you're looking for stuff. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, got that one, got that one down that middle okay all right so I gotta get to that 
alleyway. So. Ah. You're welcome. <clears throat> Fire hydrant, kick it. No. If you do that, a Dalmatian version of one of those dogs will come by. Hi, Dalmatian. Firefighter joke. Oh, wait, now I can't go this way. I'm stuck. No! <laughs> he pooped on you. Dick. No, god damn it. It's one of these fucking alleys. Is it this one? No. I fucking hate those things. <laughs> and I think this is the only part of the game they're in, too. There's a church. There's some other stuff. No. <laughs> you're probably almost dead now. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no, you're okay. You could take another hit. <laughs> okay, so down here. Fuck! Ha <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Very good. I do forget that I have to make up for uh, not completely responsive controls. <laughs> By avoiding everything. Okay, down here somewhere. Here. Alright. Dogs. I don't think there's a reload button. No! That yeah, that's not a reload <laughs> That's button. the opposite of the reload button. Near a basketball hoop, I think. Which is conveniently located next to enemies, probably. It's off limits, what the fuck? Uh, I don't obey authority? There it is. Yay, health drink. Woodman. Now you're stealing some poor bastard's key. How's he gonna get home? If I remember correctly, this basketball hoop has blood on it and there's a dog's head. There it is! Yay! That's that is kind of actually really up. disturbing. But no more disturbing than how lacrosse apparently started. Tell the story. Oh, uh, you don't know? No. Uh, the way I heard it, and I don't know if it's factually backed up or did, not. Did Tom tell you? No. Oh. Uh, someone in high school I think that played lacrosse told me. Um, it started with Indians, mm -hmm. or Native Americans rather, and... Um, I guess they would play with the severed hev head of someone, and a lacrosse stick was apparently basically a scythe. <laughs> Sounds awesome. So they'd throw a head around and Catch play lacrosse, scythe. yeah, and stag it. Stag. That is awesome. I imagine they needed a new ball every couple plays, but I, I don't know if that's <laughs> true or not, but I like to think it is because it makes uh, this sport so much more badass. Dear Olympic Committee. <laughs> Dear Olympic Committee. Can we have We that? need a ball change. <laughs> Alright. Stay away from me. Okay. But yeah, I have absolutely no idea if that's completely credible or not. Well, most, like, crazy old things like that. It, how credible really are they? But if it's true, that is cool. Yep, run into the door. <laughs> what do you? There we go. A wooden door with a uh, screen little visor. I could kick a hole through that window and just get through. Yeah. 